Hello everyone, Martin here from the Yak Council. Today we're going to be doing episode 2 of our new series, How Disabilities Are Shown in Media. Last week we talked about the television show Speechless and its representation of people with disabilities. But today we're going to be talking about American Girl Dolls. The company that produces American Girl Dolls is most well known for, well, just that. Dolls that can be heavily customized and taken care of and that's been on many children's Christmas lists for a very long time. But what some people may not know is how much they've done to represent children with disabilities. American Girl Dolls in recent years have begun to release many items for their dolls, such as hearing aids, wheelchairs, diabetes care kits, and crutches, as well as dolls with learning disabilities and dolls with a stutter. And in 2020, the Doll of the Year has been named Joss Kendrick, a Huntington Beach, California surfer who uses a hearing aid. She has a congenital hearing loss. She was born deaf in her left ear and can hear a little bit in her right ear, American Girl Doll President Jamie Kigelman told USA Today, adding that while the company has previously produced dolls that can be fitted with assisted technology such as hearing aids and wheelchairs, Joss is the first to be canonically disabled in this way. If you have a child with any type of disability or any type of difference or wearing a hearing aid, to have a doll that mirrors that image I think goes a long way to help with the stigma and stereotypes, HLAA Executive Director Barbara Kelly told USA Today. As a person with a hearing loss and as someone who loved American Girl Dolls as a kid, I find myself actually wanting to buy Joss, Emily Ledoux, Editor-in-Chief of the Disability Rights website Rooted in Rights, told Changing America. The only doll I had that supposedly looked like me was Mattel's Share a Smile Becky, who used a wheelchair like I do. But I always wish for a collection of dolls with any sort of bod- bodily diversity. Josh is yet another step in the right direction to bring disability representation to the mainstream, she added. The choice to produce dolls with disabilities was a long time in the making and will have lasting effects on the industry, showing that the difference between people isn't as great as it may seem. Well, thanks for watching everyone, and don't forget to like and subscribe.